Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm already having some difficulties and we just begun. I did not wet my beauty blender, but we're all good now. I'm doing a voiceover for this Halloween tutorial because I needed to whip this look out pretty quickly. And I apologize for whatever that just was there. Um, so as you could see by the picture slash video that was just in the clip before, I was JLo at the VMAs when she went with P. Diddy. And I really liked the way my costume turned out. Um, I can't take credit for it though. It was actually my friend Lauren's idea. So thank you, Lauren, for coming up with my costume. Um, my friend Lauren was Salinas. And uh, my friend Sydney. I'm sure you guys uh, could see, see she, well, I can't talk. She was Michael Jackson, and my friend Shelby was Catwoman, which was sexy as hell. So, shout out, Shelby. So, here I am using the Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. I have been loving this palette and using that lightest contour shade there to contour with and then I am baking here or I'm going to bake here shortly I'm taking my sweet time with it and just the usual baking under the eyes blah 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 so what did you guys do for Halloween? I know this video is getting up kind of late, but did you guys go out? Did you guys party? Did you guys stay in? What did you dress up as? Did you take your kiddos out? My son actually was protesting for Halloween because his school wouldn't let him wear his mask um he was supposed to be a wwe character and they refused to let him wear his mask to school so he was protesting <laughs> which is quite funny for a 10 year old but you know you gotta let them do their thing have their voice And let's see, I'm dancing again. Don't know what's going on. I'm just, oh, okay. And we're just gonna let this happen here. Okay, and that's, oh, we're not over. Okay, still going. And I'm wrapping now. Okay. And hopefully that's done. So moving on, I think bronzer. Nope, not yet. I think bronzer is coming up. Um, should be, I think. Maybe. We shall see. Oh, no, I'm going in with more contour, and then I'll be going in with um, bronzer. So, always do under the jawline, 
chisel out the jawline, cheekbones, usual areas. Make your forehead look smaller. Especially when you have a little bit larger of a forehead like massive. And then I should be going in here shortly and contouring my nose. I was so mad at myself. I forgot my um, usual brush that I contour my nose with. So I had to make do with what I had. But it still turned out okay. JLo's makeup that she had on um, for that event was actually very subtle. Um, this was so long ago, I forget what year this actually was, um, that she went to the VMAs with uh, P. Diddy, but I mean, makeup back then was way different to what it is now, so I mean, the way that you know, glam is today is not what it was back then. So I had to really downplay how I would usually glam up going out with the girls or just going out in general. But yeah, just usual contouring the nose how I typically would minus my usual uh, contouring brush but I think it still came out okay sometimes I can go a little overboard with the contour slash bronzer as you will see when I apply this bad boy here my beloved Fenty I use the shade Island Ting, T-I-N-G, I believe, and I, I'm doing padding motion towards the um, middle of my cheeks just because I still do have hyperpigmentation from some breakouts I had there, so... Um, that's why you see me doing padding motions um, towards the middle of my cheeks. So if you do not have hyperpigmentation, feel free to just, you know, bronze up as you typically would. And yeah, that's me singing again. So just go on American Idol and it over with. Actually, no, I won't. I will spare you all that. So for the eyes, all I did was throw some bronzer in the crease. And um, as you'll see, moving along, I did some black eyeliner and smudged it out. From what I could see in the pictures, she barely had anything going on as far as eye makeup is concerned. Um, this brow pencil was, by gosh, uh, I want to say Maybelline, maybe. I'm going to try to look through my photos here and find out for you guys. And this is what happens when your 70-pound dog wants to dance with you. So... Um, let me see if I can find a picture of it. Um, shoot. I thought I had a picture of it saved, but I don't. I want to say it's Maybelline, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so ill-prepared for this voiceover. Um, I will link it in the description down below for sure. I just wanted to stop 
the voiceover really quickly to say that if you are having a problem with your eyebrows always coming out too, I don't know, intense maybe is the word, go down a color. I recently started doing this. I went to like soft browns soft browns instead of medium browns and you guys can see like how dark my hair is and soft brown is just been working so much better for my personal taste and how I like my eyebrows to look because medium brown even though my hair is so dark I just found that medium brown was still always like making making me look so harsh at times now on super glam days like it's fine it all like ends up looking you know cohesive and blending together and being fine but on days when i don't have you know super dramatic eye makeup it just always still looks too harsh so if you are going through that and having that problem go down the color so yeah just wanted to share Um, that's what I do for a while. Okay, so we're going in with some highlight. I want to say this is the MAC uh, Soft and Gentle, maybe. I will link it in the description below. And we are moving along, it seems like. Okay, and we are back again. Hey, everybody. Okay, so this is where I am doing the eyeliner. So basically what I did to just get kind of like a smudgy effect is I just kept going in with the eyeliner and then the e.l.f. angled, uh, angled pencil brush, I want to say. Um, the eyeliner was the Marc Jacobs... Uh, Marc Jacobs hole liner or um, maybe the Marc Jacobs uh, the one that you raise up that you don't sharpen um, again I'll link it below um, so I just kept going in multiple times um, lining smudging lining smudging until I got the uh, desired effect that I was going for um, not really much of a wing. I mean, maybe a tiny bit winged out, um, but again, very, very, very slightly. And I like the way it came out. Um, she really didn't have much to go by um, from what you could see. So it was more just a very toned down um, neutral look. Just putting some now some highlight in the inner corners I'm pretty sure I forgot to highlight under my brow bone um, we'll continue to watch and see but yeah I'm pretty sure I forgot to highlight under my brow bone so rookie mistake guys never forget to highlight under that brow bone and this is the Laura Mercier chai blush honestly this is so good guys i love this blush it is not super pigmented but that's one of the reasons i love it you can wear it on a super neutral day or you can keep building it up and wear it on a super glam day so one of my favorites really love that blush so much and i'm just going in with the same mac highlighter highlighting my cheeks lately I've been doing more of a highlight on the apples of my cheeks um, I've been really kind of inspired by the way Jacqueline Hill does her highlight so shout out Jacqueline I love you you're one of my favorites um, so yeah just highlighting kind of the apples and then sweeping it upward and then a tiny bit um, along my temples and over the brow bone.
And then I always go back over with my blush brush to make sure everything is kind of blended together and there's no harsh lines between the two. And I tried this out, guys. I don't know how I feel about this spray, to be honest. This is the Wet n Wild Cucumber. I like the scent. It's very refreshing. Um, and just using it as an everyday kind of refreshing spray, I'm all about it. But as far as it, uh, I don't know, like making my makeup last, I don't know, guys. I, I haven't decided yet still on the fence um but it was okay i mean i guess it got the job done definitely doesn't replace um my higher end sprays but you know it was what i had laying around those are the um kiss midnight i think they're from the blowout um line but they're the style midnight and those are the jesus that was like so bright um those are honestly one of my favorite style of lashes um ardell wispies are always going to be probably my number one but those are definitely um a close second for sure this is the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. I'm doing some lining, some contouring. Um, this is an awesome lip liner, guys. Um, my light is being a douche, but we're not gonna pay attention to that. This lip gloss, guy. well, it's not a lip gloss. I think it's more of like a liquid lip, maybe. You guys have to run out and get this. It is like so good, oh my God, guys. If you can't tell my, my my reaction, guys, this liquid lip, lip gloss, whatever it is, I don't even know. It is so gorgeous and mixed with this. Um, I almost said strip down because everyone compares it to strip down. Um, mixed with this Morphe lip liner was incredible. Um, so you guys definitely need to get your hands on this duo. So good. And yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I think it turned out pretty good. And I hope you like. Today is October 31st. Happy Halloween, y'all. What's your guys' plans? What you doing? Where you going? Gotta try not to get these lashes wet. These lashes. Mm, totally got that one wet. Oh well. So, I will be inserting some pictures, videos of this look when it's all complete with my outfit and everything. I am going as, um, shoot, did I see it? Maybe not. So let me see, where is that? I'm going as J-Lo from the VMAs in her white outfit, white bandana. I'm super excited. I hope the outfit turns out good. So yeah, so I'll be inserting some pics, 
Thank you guys for watching this portion of it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry it was a voiceover. I just had to whip out this look and get it done quickly. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks for stopping by, guys. And I hope that you have a awesome and safe Halloween. And I can't wait to see everybody's looks. Thanks. Bye.